Let's try this again. Hello, princess, and welcome, members of the court. It is a sea day here aboard the lovely Norwegian Bliss. That means a uh, sea day fun. I'm doing a lot of other things. You'll see those coming out. Oh, you know, it's going to be over weeks, months. I don't know, but today, uh, let's just go old school and do, do a cruise vlog like we love to do. So I'm going to, well, I'm going to have a sea day and I'm going to take you along and yeah, we'll probably talk about a couple things here and there. The weather is beautiful, probably get back on the slides. I did that yesterday. Mm, it's weird not telling you about it, but well, that's what today is. All right, sea day. Let's do it. I do have a smidge of business to tend to, so it's a quick stop, the garden cafe, and then I'm gonna get that taken care of. Mission accomplished. Muesli and a couple of dates. Had to wait for them to bring out a new bowl. All right, I gotta scarf this down and get back. This one is the Aqua Racer. It is the tube slide. I marathon as much as I could in the last half hour of the day. The water was shockingly not cold, so it was very easy to do. But on the other side, we have the notorious Aqua Loop. I did this yesterday. Drop slides aren't really my thing, and you move so fast, there's so much spray, it's not exactly the most comfortable. And I say notorious because, well, there is an out at both valleys. In the half an hour I was here, I saw two guests get stuck. They come up here, and they make it to right about there, and then they slide all the way back down. <laughs> then they have to be retrieved from the middle. I made it all the way through. Man, people, they're just towels. Take a chill. I don't know if you heard that kerfuffle, but they're just towels. I am on my way to check the menu at Taste and Savor. However, it is Mexican day in the buffet. I noticed I can't find the dining room menus in the app. I could have sworn they were there, but I uh, never really checked. Oh, no, they were on Prima, but they were always the same. Maybe that makes it a little bit easier. It looks good. They do have a Cuban marinated chicken, but I'm gonna go to Mexican in the buffet because that gives me the opportunity to compare it to the other Mexican restaurant here aboard the uh, lovely Norwegian Bliss, and that would be Los Lobos, which I went to. Um, I don't know if you've seen that yet. I don't know what order these are gonna come out, but let's go compare Mexican for Mexican. Buffet the specialty. I stopped for visual trivia. It was build the word for pictures, which means I'm much more hungry now than I was before. Off to the buffet. Maybe I'll make a Mexican burger. That sounds pretty good. Or tonight is a barbecue pork loin, but there's a picture of chicken. Nacho pizza. Round one. Okay, that is just a salad. This is nacho pizza with some ranchero beef, refried beans, uh, fajita chicken, and roasted vegetables, including a roasted jalapeno, no burritos, and no Mexican rice that I could see. I'll go take one more look, but I, I thought that was a bit weird. A pretty great round one, that uh, nacho pizza and the beef ranchero, hmm, A plus. The refried beans or refried beans, the fajita chicken, okay. The vegetables though, really good. That jalapeno, wow. Okay, that was, that was a lot even for me, but uh, I would say that definitely was better what I would have expected from a, a roasted jalapeno <laughs> but either way okay that was really really good I am gonna go back for more I missed the chips bar and that's probably where they have the guac round two yes I found the chips and salsa although no salsa so yes they did have guacamole cheese sour cream this is a chicken panini a Mexican chicken uh, panini or a flat bread no panini this is Mexican chicken lasagna okay that is another onion and grilled marinated flank steak. Dessert today is the Ibarra Mexican chocolate cake. Remember that? With coconut ice cream. Yes, missing something, but well, easy to fix. There's a decent line for the drop slide. The day is really nice. All right, does he make it? Does he make it? Oh, barely. Yeah, she's old, I'll give her a pass. However, get this, the enclosed tube slide is closed because of wind. Lunch in the buffet, Mexican lunch in the buffet was really great. So I'll just say this, I if, I'm, if I remember, hopefully I will remember, I will not be spending any more dining credits at Los Lobos because like I said in the other review, well, you know what, you have to go watch the other review. All right, I'm not gonna spoil it or it's already been spoiled. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that was, that was perfectly fine. You know, if I'm gonna expect Mexican, on a future Norwegian sailing. I'll just wait until they do it in the buffet. Rice, the rice was really the only thing they were missing. 
So, yeah, I think that would work out very, very well. I'm gonna go get a, uh, maybe a espresso or a cappuccino. Might be nap time. I don't know. There's not a whole lot going on around the ship. And now that the water slides are closed, I was debating on doing those again, but I, you know, I got them in yesterday. All right, I'll figure something out. It is a busy, busy day by the pool. I still don't understand this. I really wonder where all these people are that sitting in the sun like this is something that, that they would want to do. Okay, there are a number of Brits on board, so all right, I get it, but <laughs> Floridians, we do our best to stay out of the sun. All right, I am napped up. You are charged up. I'm going to go and watch the, uh, I guess, Fancy Cruise presentation then. If the weather permits, maybe the water slides again. Probably not today for the racetrack. Tomorrow? I don't know. And then I will have pretty much done everything on the ship. I know that sounds very weird, but that means there's less to do here on the lovely Norwegian Bliss than on the uh, beautiful brand new Norwegian Prima. I hadn't really expected to come to that conclusion. I will, well, okay, no, there's two things that I never do. I could do that, go in the pool and go in a hot tub. Okay, if that's what's left, I guess that's what we, I guess that's what we do. No, I forgot, there is mini golf, the teeny little mini golf. That's the massive five hole mini golf course here on the lovely Norwegian Bliss. I'm going to, you know what, give credit to Team Prima for what they did with mini golf, even if you gotta pay for it. It is, well, it's a clearly much better experience. So um, we'll see if it's still worth the money, but that took, I don't know, five minutes. <laughs> this whole thing. That, the whole bit probably took 20 seconds. I took a stroll up here to the observation deck for the Bliss Speedway, and the first thing I notice, no guns. How, what, how are we supposed to shoot at drivers with no guns? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. well, 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 look, the rafts are having practically a rave. I realized one thing I can do is try the mini, mini camera setup. What I'm holding is just my DJI Action 2, see right there. I do have a clip for it, it's not that big, but I got this because it's the smallest practical camera. Debating on where to have dinner. I don't, well, okay, sure, go to one of the fancy ones. I just don't wanna change. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, I'm lazy like that. So that means Q, I'm not going to Food Republic. I could just stare at the screen for about 20 minutes and still not make a decision, what should I do? Someone tell me, what should I do? Well, Princess, for the first time in the modern cruising era, I caught myself saying I'm bored. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and check out dress codes. That, yeah, is that all there is to do? Now, I do freely admit, I do have a bias in this regards. I've been spending so much time on, well, brand new cruise ships that, uh, well, the lovely Norwegian Bliss is kind of a been there, done that. And I don't really feel I don't know, um, the drive to run around and try everything because done it all. <laughs> that is definitely a contributor. Uh, it's also fairly long sailing for 
only one or two things when the schedule has changed so many times that the reason I'm here uh, is, has been at least cut in half. I'm gonna go check the dress code at Le Bistro. Now, I know, my God, it's gonna be so exciting. Will I have to wear pants? Wait, that, oh, you could do a Lego tie-in somehow. I'll figure it out. Here we are at the Bistro, no automatic doors. Ah, boom. According to the little sign, Bistro is collared shirts, but it doesn't say anything about long pants. Okay, that's a plus, putting on a collared shirt. It's a pretty low bar. I think Eve and I, I can achieve that. I feel kind of silly for not doing this earlier when I was just kind of sitting at the bar, but next, Cagney's. T-shirts are allowed at Cagney's and I, Presume Los Lobos as well, if anybody cares. I I really don't. And finally, the most proofy of all, Ocean Blue. And yes, pretty much the same as the Bistro collared shirts. Seems Ocean Blue has somewhat of a uh, special situation. T-shirts are okay, but long pants are required, even though it's not on the little card. Okay, well, there you go. There's your dress code review for Norwegian Bliss. Now I gotta figure out something else to do. Um, maybe I'll go read safety placards. And there is one conveniently right around the corner. Here are the emergency instructions for decks six, seven, and eight, including muster stations and the general emergency alarm. Seven, yeah, seven short, one long, as well as some basic instructions on the life jacket and how to get to your, well, I guess a map of how to get to your muster stations. Okay, well, now that I've done that, now what? Rat attack or hidden Mickeys? Ay ay ay! Look at all of this and all of this. Yes, I came to check out the buffet because my stress level was way too low. But we are going to stick with a plan, and <laughs> we are going to burn a dining credit tonight at Texas Q. Just need to wait maybe another hour. And then we'll be ready for a giant dinner, but now all I can think about is what I'm missing here. So yes, stress levels, yeah, way up here, where they where they belong. It's dinner time, the evening is looking up. I had a couple drinks and I'm feeling a lot better. Not a lesson. I'm headed to Texas Q. I should be able to get a walk-in. It's never very full, and after that, they are doing karaoke, there's two. I just left one, but there's, I guess, the regular karaoke later. I skipped the show, the singer. Maybe I'll check out the end of the second show. We are here at Texas Q. Hopefully I won't have a problem getting seated. And well, as it happens so frequently, I feel like compelled to be here just to burn the credit because there's so many other things going on. I really wish they would open for lunch. We are ordered. We got uh, the Texas crab cakes, the Pitmaster platter, and the pickled jalapeno. Yes, we're gonna compare the jalapeno everywhere on this ship. I probably ordered the Texas crab cakes before, but it looks good, so we just did it again. Probably had the Pitmaster platter, but it looks good, so we're doing it again. And there we go. There is no performance tonight, apparently. The uh, Chattahoochees, I guess, have a night off, or maybe they'll be back later. I remember last time I was here on Encore, I was having dinner and the band started and it got loud. But I think tonight we'll have a nice quiet dinner. These are venue specific napkins, but where was it that we had the really fancy napkins that like came pre-folded from the factory? I think it was Butcher's Cut. These two lovelies are the Texas Crab Cakes. I'm 95% sure that I had these at least once before. Here we go with the Texas Crab Cakes, which yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had before. Okay, we we'll forgot to dip them. Let's, uh... Mm. So for the Texas crab cakes, there was not a lot of binder in there, but also the crab was very finely... Uh, I want to say grated, but like pulled apart. Um, meaning it wasn't chunky. It was very fine, which a texture I'm not exactly accustomed to. I've had crab cakes that do not have a lot of binder. Where was that last? I know I said that, but this was um, an interesting texture choice. Hmm. I'm <laughs> not sure how I feel about it. I think it should be a little more chunky. This gorgeous spread is the Pitmaster's platter. There's a chicken and ribs and brisket and something else in there, along with some jalapeno cornbread, a side of beans, and 
I think that's a coleslaw, potatoes, pickles. And for my sides, I got onion rings and pickled jalapenos. Well, this is, oh boy, whoa, my dinner tonight. I predict a very, very blissful slumber. <laughs> see what I see what I did there? Bliss, blissful slumber. I yeah yeah. The Pittman platter was intense, but really good. I you know did I have it before? I honestly don't remember, but much better experience than Los Lobos. Probably because I do like this style of food better, and yeah, it's easy to get good Mexican in a lot of different places. I yeah I, I think I might be done. There is a uh, country party on the pool deck. We go check that out. I am going to skip karaoke tonight. There's only one, no, two songs in the catalog that I want to do, and we have a few nights left. I think I'll just uh, kind of reserve those for later. Enchanted Objects, <laughs> if, if there was ever a night. Ending it all <laughs> with a oh, good night's sleep is pecan pie and vanilla ice cream. Woo, I am etouffee. And that means I'm gonna go and just take a peek at the Nashville party on the pool deck. Then, I think that's it. No karaoke, no club, none of that. It is another early night because tomorrow, well, we get a country credit. So that's something to look forward to. But uh, for now, let's up to the pool deck and see see what a country night by the pool is. We also have Henry from Philippines. Awesome. What an amazing five minutes at the Nashville pool party. But that is it for me. No surprises. Uh, early to bed. Well, yeah, I will be. <laughs> I'll probably be up at four or five, which is fine. Tomorrow, I forget where we're going to be. Oh, Guatemala, but that's fine. And well, I got some things planned. Some things I'm gonna share with you. Not like this, but things I'm gonna uh, do for everybody. And other than that, my first boring day at sea in a very, very long time. But well, you know what? Turned it around, had a great dinner, a little bit of fun. So even if things like that do happen, I can still be incredibly thankful for my problems. Oh.